Tech tip, we're going to be filling the sample and reference cells of the Nano ITC. The first step is to remove the burette handle from the ITC. Then what you do is you remove any sample from the previous experiment and then fill your sample and reference sides. So first I'll fill the reference side. So what I'm doing now is removing the reference needle out of the cell and what you want to make sure is that there is no liquid left inside of the reference needle. Then with the half a milliliter syringe provided, you want to load about 300 to 350 microliters of water in the reference cell. And I always use water because most of liquids that you use are aqueous solutions and water is just the most inert and will balance the heat capacity of the reference side. So I place the needle in the reference side till I just touch the bottom and I want to lift up just slightly and then slowly inject the water and you want to be careful that you have no bubbles in the syringe but even if there are bubbles you just want to make sure that you don't inject them into the cell of the ITC and then when I get down to I overfilled the syringe a little and when I get down to about 300 350 microliters I stop I kind of swirl the needle a little in case there is any bubbles that I introduced and then I lift it out of the cell then I'll return the reference needle back into place. To fill the sample side, the sample side is located in the center of the ITC and I'll use the same half a milliliter syringe. I'm just going to load with water here for example but I'm going to load with 300 microliters of water. And so I just slowly lower the needle down into the cell till I just hit the bottom slightly lift and again just slowly inject the solution into the cell alright now you can return the burette handle and let it equilibrate for a few minutes while you load the syringe for the experiment 